So I get up from my seat and, and you knew where I was sitting in one of those tables right in front of the students. I get up from my seat and I go over to the tunnel to try to wait and make sure I'm in the right spot. And it didn't even occur to me to put my stuff away, like to put my iPad and my phone and everything in my bag and maybe even take it with me or put it somewhere. So I left it there on the table and I get to the tunnel, do the interview with Mus, turn around, look at the court. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to get back to my seat. First of all, second of all, I hope my stuff is still there. Like this, this is, this could get bad. So about 20 minutes later, I finally kind of get back around the stadium, get to one of the entrances where it was closer to my seat. And one of the police officers was helping me kind of like guide my way through the crowd to get back to grab my stuff. Tom Hart, Dane Bradshaw were on their way out and they were like, we'll wait for you, you know, at the truck, get back to the hotel, I'll just grab your stuff. So I get back, back to where I was sitting and the table was like completely empty. Like the monitor, the TV monitor that I was looking at was on the ground and was smashed up a little bit. My backpack was like 10 feet away from where I had left it. I had some makeup products that were kind of like strewn throughout the floor. And, you know, there's still like thousands of people on the floor and my iPad and my phone are gone. And I'm like, oh no, like, and of course I don't, I don't blame anybody in a court storming. Like everybody's going, I'm like my, my whole life, <laughs> my iPad, my cell phone, like what am I going to do? So a couple of police officers and then a couple of the students started to hear what was going on and that I was looking for my iPad. And so like in this sea of people, a couple of Arkansas students are like, well, hell, we'll help you find it. We'll help you find it. And so like, they're going onto the floor and they're looking, they're looking to see if they can find anything. They're like, what does it look like? And after about 20, 30 minutes of looking, uh, we kind of gave up. And I thought, you know, it's either way across the other side. Maybe someone will pick it up, turn it into lost and found, or, you know, I, I don't know, but I was already like, I'll go to Verizon tomorrow and get a new phone. And it is what it is. I get out to the truck and I tell my producer what's going on. And they're like, no, you, you lost your phone. Like what in the world? This is awful. Then we get a call from someone within the Arkansas athletics department. And they said, one of the university of Arkansas police officers picked up my stuff just before the court storming. And we were able to kind of track him down. His name is Paul. And Paul had the wherewithal to see that I was an idiot and left my stuff on the table, grabbed it and held on to it and eventually got it back to me to kind of protect it from everything. And I was just like, when, when they brought it back out, I was like, I will be an Arkansas fan till the day I die because you guys saved my life and you were looking out for me. And even when I thought it was gone, there were students offering to help me. So even after the game was over, after the broadcast was over, the craziness did not end. Um, but I've always talked, you know, about going to Fayetteville and experiencing that Southern hospitality. And it truly shone through in that moment. Um, it was a roller coaster. And I'm so appreciative of everybody out there for sure, because it was insane for a lot of reasons.